Hello equestrians and adventure fans. My name is Alyssa and I am on a quest to ride every breed. In this episode, it's time to meet our first Japanese native pony breed. There are hundreds of different horse breeds and each one has their own unique story. So saddle up and join me on a ride to discover the horse. Our adventure starts in the Kiso area of Japan where the ancient Japanese breed, the Kisouma, originated. I'm meeting up with Takeru. He is the Kiso Horse Conservation Association's executive director and stable manager of the Kiso Horse Riding Center. Oh, wow. All Kiso Horse and 135 black skin horses, three. Only three. One, two, three. You're very special, aren't you? This one has the, the mealy muzzle, like the Exmoor, the Exmoor pony coloring. Right there in the eyes. Ah, stallions. Yeah. Beautiful face, those <laughs> eyes. This is four. <laughs> they already have such little personalities. <laughs> Sometimes with these rare breeds, I only get to see one or two examples. And here there are 35 of them of all ages. There hasn't been a single one that hasn't wanted to come and say hello. Some are more sleepy than others, but... Uh... <laughs> Gosh, you're cute. See the little whirls? It's got like four little whirls. Here's another color example. Their average height is 13 hands which is 133 centimeters. <laughs> it's time for my first ride on the Kiso Pony. Are you ready? Well, I don't speak Japanese and she doesn't speak English, but there is something about the feeling of getting on a horse, no matter where you are. And there's that, there's that feeling of home about it. They have been bred in this area as early as the sixth century. Generations of breeding in rugged terrain and cold weather built a horse that is hardy and strong with tough hooves. The horses were treated as cherished family members and often lived under the same roof as the family. They have been used for transporting goods, as farm horses, and even became a symbol of the samurai when they gained a reputation for being excellent horses for the warriors to ride. She has such an energetic feel and a very forward thinking trot, but it's also really comfortable to ride. The riding center is a place where visitors can meet the ponies, learn to ride, drive, or go out for a trek. And the center also uses Kiso horses for therapy. Good girl. Thank you for the ride. Uh-huh. In the 1950s, the breed almost went extinct. 
The Kiso Horse Conservation Association was founded in 1969 to help save the breed. One of the things I really have been enjoying about my trip to Japan is all of the wonderful things that you can eat here. <laughs> This area is famous for its soba noodles. I'm very happy right now. We are headed to Ottawa Castle for an archery event. This is so cool. So this nonprofit organization has been developed to make archery available to everybody and also continue the tradition of using the horses. For people that have never ridden horses before, could they come to your place and learn how to ride as well as as well as shoot with a bow and arrow? Yes, uh, usually for our farm, uh, everyone is beginner. Uh, they never ride a horse before, they never try archery before, like first time everything. Yes, you can just come to my farm and then like experience. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Those are really cool. <laughs> we call this wa abun. Wa abun. Yes. No, you don't want to yeah. you don't want to get hit with that. <laughs> Yabusame is a unique form of martial arts. The origin of this ancient practice also dates back to the 6th century. Archers shoot at targets on their left while riding a galloping horse. It is a test of skill and accuracy, both for the archers and the horses. The performance is incredible to watch. They continue to be a living piece of Japan's history. Through the efforts of organizations like the Kiso Horse Conservation Association and the passion of individuals like Takeru and Cynthia, we can hope to keep this ancient breed alive and thriving for future generations to appreciate and cherish. Here we go. What's it like riding your first Japanese horse breed? These horses are a little bit um, they're solid horses. They're, um... I know you're supposed to ride every breed of horse, but I think we have a problem. Sit. Quest is over. This really makes me want to ride. It's probably a good thing not to give me a pointy stick, though, at this moment with all the people around. Tuesday through Friday. Happened to pick the time that the Equine Museum is closed. <laughs>